Lou Alstadt, uh, fracking is a, a common way to get natural gas now. Does the industry have a handle on the environmental impacts of fracking and the methane released in the process of fracking? Okay. I think there are two aspects of this. One is what you see at the site. The area right, right around it, the emissions that affect people living nearby and things like that. You can, if thinking that you're taking care of that by shutting something down but just having it produced someplace else doesn't really do anything to climate change. Methane is by far a more powerful um, greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. If you look over a 100-year period, it's something like 35 times worse than carbon dioxide. Over a 20-year period, which is the critical time that we're dealing with, it's about 86 times worse than carbon dioxide. So thinking that you're solving the problem by replacing oil with gas uh, is just digging yourself a bigger hole. We really have to acknowledge and and there's a reason that it hasn't been acknowledged, and that is that the information on methane leakage is relatively new. We knew it was a, a large, um, uh, powerful greenhouse gas. What we didn't know was how much was leaking into the atmosphere. The, the numbers don't have to be much more than a few percent before natural gas is worse than coal in terms of being a greenhouse gas. So we actually have to control both oil and gas at the same time and reduce them both and move to renewables as quickly as we can. And we've got to create the financial incentives to move in those directions.